Hey there, this is Jack in my Apex Training for Life, baby. You change your mind, you change your life. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on a few things today as to work on your core and your upper extremities, especially when you might have some things going on with some balance insufficiency with your legs, uh, just not quite trusting the, the lower part of your body. So with that being said, uh, the equipment that you will need will be a Swiss ball, an exercise ball. This is what's considered a large exercise ball, 65 centimeters. Doing the math is just over 25 inches. This will be the, that will be the typical ball for someone that's between 5'6 and 5'10. Um, also, what you also will need are, is a set of bands. I have here a set of bands by Vic. V-E-I-C-K. There's actually a screaming deal on Amazon right now. All right, you can actually get a set of bands for 20 bucks. They have like the nice pair of grips. Has come with the O-ring versus a D-ring. Com hand comfortable handles and a uh, over the door anchor. Uh, this one didn't come in the kit. I lost the original one. So I got this heavy duty one. I'll, I'll send a, a link on that one to you if you like. So anyways, with that being said, when you set up your uh, workout, you want to put your bands out like you would line up heavy to light dumbbells at the gym. Okay, so I'll go from 50, 40, 30, 20, and 10. That way you're not fumbling around your bag, pulling, just, you know, untangling. Been there with the, the mobile clients. It's a little, it just breaks the flow of your routine. Okay, so this is just the, the exercise ball. Again, for some people that might have some core stability issues, what you can do is you can set this up. I believe in working large muscles before smaller muscles. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and anchor or door anchor. Okay, and then well, this is what I would do. I probably will just go ahead and do like, uh, we'll do a 40 pound band. So I'll go ahead and I'll hook my O-ring to the carabiner. All right. And that will feed the over the door anchor, kind of like basically a thread through the eye of a needle. Drop it over the door. All right, close it right there. Take the other handle, loop on this end. All right, and you feed one stirrup in through the other stirrup. That way, you don't mess up your band, okay? You want to try to avoid clipping the carabiner onto the band itself because the edges of the carabiner can cut the rubber on the, the band, all right? So first exercise you want to work on, basically, upper body and chest. Get yourself situated on the exercise ball, all right? Might put a little more air. What you can probably do is you can squeeze your legs against the ball and sit down. So squeezing your legs like you're on the horse and then taking the band. All right, I'll change the angle so you can see a little bit better. So again, squeezing your legs together and you're sitting on the ball. All right, and taking the band and just pulling across your chest. Okay, so this works your left upper pec and it works your right posterior scapula adductors, your mid trap get some stomach muscles in there, some core. All right, so the further you weigh, you pull from the bar, I mean, uh, pull from away from the door, the more resistance. Okay, you can actually add a little trunk rotation and get some abs. Okay. Get some abs right in there. And then when you do a set of 12 to 15, turn around and work the opposite side. Secure something, just go get, put your ball in a headlock, Sit down nice and easy and just pull and come at a diagonal, you know, so you're working your pec. Get a little bit of trunk rotation. So the goal is that you want to try to almost aim the grip towards the inside of your knee, furthest away from the door. That's one exercise that you can do. Another exercise for your triceps, you can sit on the ball here. Okay, sit on the ball here. Again, the further away you move, the more resistance, okay? Secure your elbow, and that works triceps. Okay. So the trick is you squeeze the ball, so it holds you up a little tighter, and the isometric works your legs. 
All right, see triceps? All right, switch hands, triceps. 12 to 15 reps. Okay, another exercise you want to do, you might want to work some biceps. So now the door anchor goes on the bottom of the door. Make sure you put a note on the other side so someone doesn't open the door on you and have your band come roaring back at you on your face. So definitely want to put a note on the other side of the door. Please don't open the door. I'm exercising. All right. So bicep curls, you want to take up a bit more slack so you can actually hook the carabiner. So now what I've done, I'll bring it up a little closer and you can see what I've done. So I'm actually going to hook two, of, I'm going to hook a handle. I'm going to feed this through the door anchor and I'm going to hook the ends to this uh, O-ring. Move the camera in a little closer so you can see me. Appreciate your patience. All right, I'm angle this down a little further. Okay. Squeeze the ball, sit down on it. All right, bicep curls. Stop, my head's cut off. Again, this is for those that are trying not to trigger the leg too much. You might want to stagger your stance here. So you're getting biceps here, right? And then switch, you can do concentration curls. You can change the angle where you actually got your elbow on the inside of your leg and you're curling up. All right. You can even do upright rows. Take the ball now, put it against the door. Okay. Almost done. Thank you for your patience. Almost done here. Upright row, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's move this guy out of the way. All right, so upright row. You use your Swiss ball now as an anchor point from here, stagger feet, and then you can do upright row. Okay? All right. So those are a few exercises that you can do. We covered basically the first one where you're working on basically doing coming across, working on abs, core, chest. Second one where you're working on triceps with your back facing and pulling downwards, switching off. All right, and then you got some biceps. So you've got chest, core, bides, and tries. Just cycle that. Do a three to five cycles, and before you know it, it's a 15-minute workout. This is Jack, my Apex Training. Thank you for joining me here in this moment and letting me share with you the knowledge that I have as a physical therapist and a retired weightlifter. All right.